Hi, I'm Rick, and today I want to talk about configuring logging in the RTAC. The RTAC has a SOE queue of 30,000 entries that it keeps in its database that you can log stuff to, and you can access that log through ODBC or through going to the RTAC's web interface and downloading a CSV or just looking at it right on the web interface. You can also download that through Team software. So how do you configure these logs? Well, you go to the tag processor in the Accelerate RTAC software, and I want to show you that right now. Um, you can see that there's several log entries here that are there by default. These log entries have to do with security and internal things that may occur. To look at all of the columns that are associated with those logs, I'm going to click on Options and go to Logging Layout. And here you can see that Logging Enable is set to True. So all of these things, all of these tags that have Logging Enable set to True will log whenever certain events occur. So let's walk through some of these columns here. There's Log Initial State, so that's basically logging when you first start up. Logging Alarm Enabled, if you set that to true, then this point, whenever it logs, it will also go into the alarm log. And you can see it, it'll be red or some color that you can configure. There's logging categories, which is any string value that you put in there. The default ones are security and internal, but you can make up any that you want. And there's also a logging on message and a logging off message. And the logging on message is when the value is true in a state that it needs to be logged then that's the message that will log. When it's not in that state, then it will log the other message. If the message is blank, of course, it just won't log anything. Let's scroll over here. Logging priority, again, that's just a string that you can make up, and then you can sort by that priority later. Live data enable is a really cool feature. So any tag that you have configured in the destination tag name, if you turn the live data enable set to true, then it will display that live data on the RTX web interface. And you don't have to do any other work. It just shows up. The logging chatter counts and time, basically if it's, um, like in this example, there's a 5 and a 1,000, so that means if it changes five, more than 5 times in 1,000 milliseconds or 1 second, then it will be considered a chatter. And it won't log all of the chattered items. So let's scroll down here a little bit more and show an example of logging a specific tag. So I've got the 52A bit right here, and we want to log whenever that goes true. So I have logging enable is set to true. We're going to set logging alarm to true, and we're going to log that in the alarm. We're going to have the logging on message is asserted, and then the logging off message is deasserted so that we know when it happened and when it cleared. And we're going to make that a logging priority of critical. And again, that's just a string that I just made up. And we're going to leave the rest of this as default. And that's all you have to do. And then it will log into the SOE log every time the 52A element is true or false. The next thing I want to do is log a value. So in this cir circumstances, I have an analog value, which happens to be a complex measured value. And I'm going to set, I put that in the destination tag name. I set logging enable to true. The logging alarm is false because I don't really care about the uh, putting it in the alarm. The category I'm going to put is feeder one. And then the next thing I'm going to do is a little bit differently. So I'm not going to log it when the value changes. I'm going to log it when the time changes. So to do that, I have this logging time change trigger. I set that to true. And then there's a logging time change trigger message. And that message will be logged any time the time changes. And the time will change when the value exceeds the dead band of that value. When the time changes, this is the message that will log. And the message is a, I use a real to string function. And I take the, the magnitude of that tag and I put it, feed it to that function. So if the value is, say, 100, and my dead band is 5, then when it goes to 110, then it will log the message of the, the value 110. It will convert it to a string, and it will put it in the SOE log. And you can use any kind of strings or any kind of functions like that to convert things to strings, so you could log pretty much anything you want. And that's about it. We're logging on the, uh, on the Accelerator RTAC software. And if you have any other questions, feel free to visit the instruction manual. There's a whole section about logging in the tag processor. Or you can call us here at SEL. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next video.